So everyone is doing travel films now, some for fun, some for absolute hobby and some for clients. So, I mean, you see a lot of good ones, then you see a lot of poorly done travel films as well. I have done like 15 so far and they have been absolutely great. I always keep on watching them all the time just to feel motivated and inspired all the time. And if you haven't seen my videos yet, here is the link to the playlist. Go ahead and check it out. You definitely need to go ahead and check it out. So in this video, I'm going to break down my workflow of how you actually plan a travel film. Let's go ahead and get started. And making those travel films can really be tricky and useful as well. I mean, I have made like thousands of dollars when I did not even have 100 subscribers by just emailing my travel film link to potential clients. And let me just tell you, those clients and brands do not care how many number of subscribers or viewers you have. All they look for is premium content. If you have the content which can make them feel, wow, this is it. I mean, you just earned a client. So in this video, towards the end, I'm going to give you one of my secret tips about my planning for the secret workflow of the travel film planning. Just make sure you're watching this video till the end. So now let's talk about my workflow. Storyline. The very first thing is you need to have a story for your travel film. If you're just getting the shots just for the sake of montage, it's not a travel film. Think about the storyline before you actually start the process. Just read about the place, think about it, decide on a particular subject. For example, when I was in New York, I made two travel films. First was the early morning life for New Yorkers in monochrome. Here is the link. Go ahead and check it out. And the second was showing the chaos of New York City. Here is the link again. Go ahead and check it out. So basically just plan on a storyline and completely stick to it. Now background music. Audio is the most important part of a travel film. It can just make or break your video instantly. You can almost like disconnect your audience instantly if the audio is poor. But if you have a perfect audio and still you have got bad visuals, you are still going to keep your audience sticking to your video and they are going to keep on watching about the video. So audio is, I mean, audio is everything. So what I normally do is I choose the track first, keep on listening to it every single hour until the film is done so that I get a hold of each beat and I know when I need to punch in which footage or sound effect or transition. So basically you have to know the audio track before you sit on the editing table. I keep on listening to it every day even during the shoot and it really helps me to decide on what kind of footage I will be needing when I sit to edit. Now sound effects and sound design. Sound design is most important. Sound design includes the uses of background score, sound mixing, sound effects, transition sounds, ambient sounds, everything. Let me just show you an example of here a sunrise shot with just normal background music. And this is the same sunrise shot again with proper sound design with like three layer of audio. So which one did you like? The second one, right? Because it's immersive. It gives you the feel like you are right there. So it has got like three layers of audio. First, the background music, the background score. Second is the ambient music of the waves, just the waves, sound effects. And the third is the birds chirping sound effect. So let me just show you this video again so that you can figure it out. Loved it, right? Now plan the flow of shots. So planning the flow of shots is kind of really important. If you don't have a complete plan of what you actually need, you are going to be completely blank when you sit on the editing table. You need to know what actually you need and you need to just shoot that exactly. I mean, if you just hold the camera and get out to the street, you will be completely blank because you have no idea what you actually need to start with or start the shooting with. But if you have a complete detailed flow chart of your plans and the shots you need, you will have enough content by the end of the day. Now plan the day. Planning the shoot day before time is really very important. If you're working on a travel film, you will hardly get time for anything. You will have a lot to do and you will have limited time scope. So basically plan the day before time and you will be set. Plan the shot types. So planning the shot types is crucial and you are going to need a bunch of footage for every kind of footage you are going to use. For me, I need regular 4K 24fps footages, the slow-mo, time lapses, hyperlapses, macro shots, panning shots, sliding shots, whip pan shots, tight shots, mid shots, wide shots, close-up shots, extreme close-up shots, POV shots, aerials, etc. So there is a lot of things you are going to need while you are going to edit or make a travel film. Multiple cameras and lenses. Try to shoot with at least like three or four different focal lengths. For me, I use like two or three cameras. First camera always has the 85 millimeters 
or a 90 mm macro the second camera always has a 6 to 35 or a 24 70 for everything like mid to tight shots then the third camera always has a 25 millimeters on a gimbal then a gopro then the drone for all the aerials so basically you need to have a lot of variety of shots before you sit on the editing table transitions plan the transition before time as well that will help you to decide the kind of shots you need for example if i have a audio with a audio beat going down and up instantly i will need to have two shots whip pan left to right whip pan right to left and then just add a jump cut to it so basically if you know what transitions you are going to use you will need to know what kind of shots you are going to need now my secret tip this is going to be massive i hope everyone is watching till this end part of the video because this tip is absolutely going to help a lot plan the number of shots you are going to need exactly for your travel film for example if your travel film you are planning to do like 3 minutes so 3 minutes this is how the math is and this is how i normally do it for example i decided to make the iceland film as like 3 minutes so 3 minutes is like 180 seconds for 180 seconds if i am breaking it to like 3 seconds each clip i am going to need like 60 or 70 or best footages which i can just weave into the iceland film so basically you do not need to shoot a lot of stuff and keep on like shooting every day whole day day and night just try to shoot as much as you can to get the film filled with the footages you need for example if it's 3 minute video i'm going to need like 70 best footages i'm going to just shoot for like 120 or 130 footages so basically i will have 130 files i need to choose like 70 files out of it and then just work on the film or the storyline this is massive i mean i have seen people they have been shooting like whole day and they're like loaded with like thousands of clips and then they have to make a film of like 2 minutes or 3 minutes so out of 1000 clips they have to keep on organizing the files see those files choose those files it's a massive job and it's not going to help you at all just plan the exact number of shots you need for your film and you are going to see how much easier your workflow is going to be i have been using this trick for years now and it has been helping me a lot i normally sit for my travel film edit for like 2 or 3 days get it done because i have seen people who spend like months and they're still not done so this tip i hope it's going to help everyone out there so that's all about it for today guys if you have got any questions let me know i absolutely recommend everyone to go ahead and explore the world make some travel films it's going to help a lot it's going to make your vision broad really broad and it's going to enhance your skills so smash the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet and don't forget to click on the bell icon to stay updated i will see you in my next video